you know, I'm a parent. And I've always taught my son that he could do anything he wanted and be anything he wanted. If he worked for it, put his mind to it, and really worked at it, he could accomplish anything he wanted to accomplish. And I stand by that. And I think any parent worthy of being a parent will teach their child that. I fully, 100% believe in supporting your kids in their, in their life and in their dreams and teaching them to go for it, to dream their dreams, be who they want, do what they want, work at it, achieve it. But I'm going to tell you something right now. My son was born a son. He was born with a penis, which means he's a boy. If you have a child that is born with a dick, they are a little boy. Teach them that they are a little boy. If they are born with a pussy, they are a girl. Teach them that they are a little girl. I am irrationally pissed off and screaming and yelling and cussing is not going to help. Yes, I know. But the stupidity, the level of stupidity in this world right now has gotten to me just to this point. Okay, all I want to do is scream and yell at the stupid people. If your child is not old enough to consensually, legally consensually have sex, they are not old enough to decide to have their dick cut off. If they are born with it, that's what they are. If he's born with a dick, he is a little boy. If she is born with a pussy, she is a little girl. Once they are old enough, and I mean damn well old enough to decide differently, then that's up to them. But if they are less than 30 fucking years old, you do not need to encourage them to act like the opposite sex. If a 12-year-old says, I feel like a little girl, but they have a penis, do not tell them, oh, well, then you're a little girl. It's okay. You are setting them up for fucking failure. You are setting them up to be bullied and possibly be killed because you are not parent enough to help them understand what they're feeling. Most little kids play dress up. That doesn't mean they are the opposite sex. It means they like to play dress up. If your 12 year old has just stopped believing in Santa Claus and has not yet learned to speak a sentence correctly, they're probably not mature enough to decide that their penis is wrong and that they want it cut off. And in case you are confused about why I am this pissed, it is because I just saw a Pantene commercial with a set of lesbian parents, which I do not have an issue with, just for the record, who has a little boy, yes, you heard me say it, a little boy who is 12 years old, who feels like he is a little girl. So they let him grow his hair out and put on dresses and act like a little girl. So he's faking being a little girl. 
Now you send that kid to school and he goes into the school dressed like a little girl. What the fuck do you think is going to happen to that kid when the other little boys and girls find out your little boy just came to school dressed like a little girl? Pull your head out of your fucking ass and be a parent. You're setting your kid up to get killed. Not just bullied, killed. The kid in this commercial cannot even speak a sentence correctly. They are still young enough that they still speak like a five-year-old. But they think it's okay to let that child decide whether or not it's a boy or a girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? If you can't be any better of a parent than that, then you don't need to fucking be a parent. If you are a grown up and you are a man, and I mean you have a dick, but you feel like a woman, fine. You're a grown up, 30 and above. And yes, I mean 30 and above. I'll explain that in a minute. And you decide you want to dress like a woman because you feel like a woman on the inside. Great, go for it. You're a grown up. You know what the fuck you're doing. If you're a woman and you feel like you're a man, fine. Dress like a man, act like a man, walk like a man, talk like a man. <clears throat> Use a strap on if you have to and fuck like a man. Great. You're 30 or above. Go for it. If you have a small child who is not mature enough to figure out that Santa Claus is not real, they don't need to decide whether or not they're a fucking boy or girl. God, what is wrong with you people? The reason I specifically said 30 and above is because when you're a teenager, you are fucked up in the head because of your raging hormones. You do not make life decisions while you're fucked up in the head with raging hormones. And in your 20s, you are still fucked up in the head because all you want to do is end your own damn life because your 20s suck so fucking bad. OK, so please make sure you are at least in your 30s before you make a life altering decision of whether or not to have your dick cut off or have one sewn on. Anybody younger than that is too immature emotionally to make a life-altering decision that big. If you're a man and you want to be fucked in the ass by another man, great. That's up to you. That's your decision. If you're grown and you're both of age consenting adults, great. If you're a woman and you want to lick another woman's pussy or have yours licked by one, great. As long as you're both consenting adults of age, great. Go for it. But don't teach little kids that it's okay for a 12-year-old to go have his penis cut off. This world is getting so stupid, I expect it to implode in a ball of flames at any given second. My God, no wonder we don't have any real men left in the world. And the women are more men than the men. Because we're teaching our little boys to be little pussies. Hell, even the ones that are born with penises act like girls because they're taught, oh, it's okay if you feel like a girl on the inside. Just dress like one on the outside. As long as the world thinks you're a girl, then you're a girl. If you appear to be a girl, well, then you must be a girl. No, you're a fucking man or you're supposed to be if your parents will pull their heads out of their fucking asses and raise you like the man you were born to be. Don't apologize, Robert. I'm glad you shared it.
And hello and welcome to my insanity to everyone that's here. <clears throat> and Robert, I'm actually glad that you shared that. Uh, so, oh, uh, Robert! Wow, Bill! Oh, boy! <laughs> back in January. <laughs> Some things just get to me. Country fan! <laughs> I'm sorry guys it just it just irrationally upset me beyond any means as you can well see I know people are going to get pissed when they see this but I don't give a shit you don't raise your little boys to be little girls Justin cowboy Justin in the house who I got heated and so you and Bill <laughs> feel the same. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Don't piss her off. <laughs> I, it just, I'm sorry. It, you know what? I'm not actually sorry. I'm just... Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, the, the level of stupidity this world has gotten to is just... It never ceases to amaze me. I didn't think it could get any worse. Do you listen to the kid in the commercial? Oh, uh, guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Pantene has a uh, transgender commercial out uh, with a lesbian couple um, who has a little boy. I said it and I'm standing by it. It's a little boy. He's got a penis. They have a little boy who says he feels like a little girl on the inside. So they let him grow his hair out and dress like a little girl and act like a little girl. Uh, so he comes across as a little girl, even though he's a little boy. I looked it up and according to the details, it's a 12 year old. Dude, my neighbor's 11 year old still believes in Santa Claus. The kid in the commercial can't even speak plain. And no, it's not because they have a lisp. It's because they still speak like a child. Why? Because they are still a fucking child. And it flew all over me because I thought, you know what? I'm as open-minded as anybody else in this world. But damn it, there are fucking limits. <laughs> How am I, Justin? I'm a little royally pissed right now. It's just... People will walk around on eggshells over this situation and, and they will handle it with kid gloves. And I'm sick and fucking tired of handling shit like this with kid gloves. Somebody needs to step up and say what needs to be said. And what needs to be said is this. It needs to fucking stop. With two dads and a daughter that's supposed to be transgender. Oh, wait, is the daughter supposed to be? Wait, how do I say this? Um, it's a transgender daughter. So is the daughter feeling more like a guy than a girl? Is that am I it, did I interpret that correctly? Welcome to Don't Be Stupid, Stupid 101 with Aspects Queen. Yes! <laughs> Good one. I'm telling you, this is what causes little kids to get killed. From what I read, yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I still get a little confused by that. Because um, when somebody says transgender, I'm like, okay, are they changing into a boy or are they changing into a girl? Which one were they born as and which one are they turning into? Uh, look, I don't have a problem with people changing their gender if that's what they want to do. If they're mature enough to make that decision. Anybody less than 30 plus years old is not mature enough to make that decision. That is a life altering, body altering decision. 
that you will never be able to undo. Even if you can financially afford to have it undone, your body will never be the same again once you have it done. Glad you love the for your new series. Oh, it's a new series. Okay. I'm here for YouTube. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Damn it, Alvin. <laughs> Give me any more ideas. I got something I want to say. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hell no. You <laughs> box and clubs for this shit. <laughs> Now, guys, just so you know, when I started this stream, I started it by myself. Because if there had been anybody on screen with me and they had even breathed the wrong way, I would have been down their throat in a heartbeat. And not in a good way. Hang on, guys. I'm doing something. <laughs> Hell, it all confuses me, too. Oh, good. Okay, it's, it's not just me, then. <laughs> Sorry, country, I just realized what you said. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just play the new game on the phone I discovered today called Judged. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, I forewarned my son before I started the stream. I knew where it was going to go, so I told him, I said, listen, I'm about to lose my shit. I'm going to be cussing and screaming, and it has nothing to do with you. What's up? <laughs> My blood pressure, I guarantee it. <laughs> I, I see that. Oh, oh my God. When I now, I, the floor, hmm? I'm going to mute my mic and I'm just going to let you have the floor. <laughs> well, you know, I have to, but, you know. 
when I fucking saw this commercial, I was like, what the fuck? And the first thing that ran through my fucking mind was, um, okay. See, what got me, and, and, and I'm just going to be honest with you. It wasn't what got me wasn't so much that, okay, the kid wanted to be transgender, okay? It was that the parents act like they didn't care for the fucking kid until they made a fucking gender fucking change. And I'm sitting here like, well, who the fuck allowed you to be parents anyway if you don't love the kid as a little fucking boy? What the fuck does that got to make any damn difference? No offense, but just because you're fucking female lesbians, who gives a fuck about that? If if having a child, right, determines whether they're a boy or girl, whether you love them or not, then you don't need to be a fucking parent biologically or fucking adopt me. And then... The kid probably wants to be a fucking girl, so you'll have fucking something to do with them. At 12 years old, motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they want. You think I knew what the fuck I wanted when I was 12? Hell, sometimes I still don't know what the fuck I want. I'm fucking 42 years old. But I do know one damn thing. I'm a man... I got a dick. That's the way I was born. That's the way I was raised. And I'm fucking proud of it. You gonna sit here and mistreat a child because they're a male and you're two fucking lesbians. And oh, well, now I see the re now I really see the child because they become a girl. Are you fucking serious? You need to have your rights as a fucking child, as a fucking parent, taken away from you. It's just like when you mistreat an animal and they take the rights of you ever having to fucking be able to own an animal again away from you. They should do the same fucking thing with shit like this. It is so fucking stupid. I am getting so tired of people fucking shoving this shit down people's fucking throats. You know what? I'm just going to say this, right? I could give a fuck whether you're transgender or not. What you fucking do don't fucking bother me. You want to be gay? Fine. You want to be lesbian? Fine. If you want to be bi? Fine. If you want whatever the fuck it is you want to do? Fine. You want to know something? I do not have a right as a fucking human being to judge you. The man upstairs are going to judge you when you leave this earth. And all I got to say is when you get there, you better hope everything that you've done is right with the man. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Don't force no fucking being some gender on some damn kid that they don't fucking want to be. That's not right. Hell, kids don't even know what the fuck they want nowadays. Hell, one win, one damn minute they in the fucking Ninja Turtles, next fucking minute they in the fucking whatever else. They don't know what the fuck they want. You really think they know where the fuck they want to be a little girl or a little boy? Hell, half of them don't even know what the fuck's going on till they're at least teenagers. Hell, I mean, you know, I'm not a parent, and, and especially I'm not a woman, uh, uh, you know, a mother that, that would have a daughter, right? But I would think that, you know, Probably most parents that are women that have a daughter probably dread telling their daughter about, you know, eventually in your life you're going to have a period, right? And that's when you basically become a woman, starting your, your transition into womanhood, 
<laughs> and most parents don't even tell that to their kids, probably to their at least in their early teens. I would think. Unless puberty strikes before that, yes, Wild Bill. <laughs> yes, I mean, occasionally I know it does, you know. Yeah. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I know enough. I know enough to know that. Yeah. But my whole thing is this, you know, and you're gonna sit here and tell somebody that, oh, you're not a little boy, you're a little fucking girl. I'm sorry, but I piss standing up. Uh huh. I mean, that's kind of hard. I mean, no offense to any women out here, but that's kind of hard doing standing up. Agree. You're a woman. Not offended by I mean, that at all. You can do it, but I'm saying you're, you know, you're, it's probably not going to go where you want it to. No, it don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, come on. I mean, are you fucking serious? I mean, these fucking people nowadays, I get so fucking tired that I'm sorry, but I'm fixing to go back to what I was talking about the other day. When they're in that fucking spa in California, when they let that fucking man come in there and he was sitting there saying, Oh, well, I identify as a fucking woman. Look, I got a beard. That don't mean I fucking identify as a fucking Billy Goat. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean I don't care that Alvin Alvin calls me when it ain't nothing that that that's not why I said that but I'm just saying just because I got fucking facial hair don't make me a fucking animal okay the fucking thing is this right here they were in the fucking wrong and these people don't want to do nothing about it but yeah you got the movie two movement out here these people oh man he fucking touched me in ways I didn't like to. But yeah, you let these motherfuckers come in there and do this shit. And then you want motherfuckers to feel sorry for you. I ain't come the fuck up. How stupid can you get? That's why fucking playing Russian roulette and sticking a bullet in the fucking chamber and spinning and sticking to your head and going and pulling the trigger and oh well now I'm sitting in fucking hell because I killed my fucking self and I'm sitting here wondering the fuck why because well, you're fucking stupid that's why oh I know you are Alvin but no I mean you know what I'm saying I mean come the fuck on I mean, how stupid can you get? And you know what? Here's the funny thing. The left and the liberals don't realize just how much people are standing back laughing at them and how fucking stupid they are. I mean, come on, seriously. You know, stuff like that right there, like, I'm fixing to say this, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter to me whether you're transgender or not, whether you're gay, straight, whatever, you know, it's your priority. You do what you want to. Now, I'm going to say this, okay? The LGBTQ plus community have sit here and fought like hell to get some kind of equal fucking rights out here and then you diminish shit by doing dumb shit like that you know people get tired of fucking shit like that man you know mm -hmm. when i was a fucking kid i didn't have no inklings of ever thinking of being a fucking little girl it never even crossed my fucking mind what the fuck is wrong with people nowadays? <laughs> and just because and just because a kid might want to say, hey, I just want to see what I look like in a dress, just that's a funny fucking thing. That doesn't fucking mean they want to be a girl. I mean, there's motherfuckers that go out here and dress up on Halloween. <laughs> 
That doesn't mean that's what they want to be. Are you stupid? Apparently you fucking are. I'm going to tell you what right now. See, there is a fucking reason why that I'm not like a lawyer or a fucking judge or none of this shit like this right here. Because I'd probably be the one motherfucker right here that ever... You think... Let me tell you something. You think Donald Trump is bad? You ain't seen shit. Because I'd be the worst motherfucker on the planet when it comes to dumb shit like that. I think if you're a parent and you force that shit on the child, or at least you don't at least tell them, hey, look, you were born a male, you're going to act like a male, you're going to dress like a male, and when you get older in life, if you decide you want to be a woman, that's up to you. You do what the fuck you want to. But as of right now, you're going you're gonna, to um, act the way you were born. And if, and if you don't support that, then you know what? Your fucking right as a parent should be taken the fuck away from you. I better fucking quit for my fucking blood pressure goes sky fucking high. I told you, mine about went through the roof. I honest to God had to calm down before I could go live to rant. I literally had to let myself calm down some before. I went live. And you saw me when I went live. So, you know, this is what the second stream we've done today. <laughs> Hell, if it keeps going, we might just go ahead and stay live. <laughs> I just, I couldn't help it. I got pissed and I'm like, mm -mm, no, no, I'm letting it out. And, um, Good morning, Morgan. Good. Welcome to the party. Oh, by the way, uh, well, Bill, thank you for that shout out you gave me a while ago. Oh, okay. You are. The lady <laughs> said you missed it all. No, you done missed it. I done uh, ripped people a new one, and then while Bill came on, and he ripped people a new one. Yep. It just makes no sense. I mean, if you're a grown up and you do that to yourself, that's your decision. That's on you. Okay, but if you let your kid do that, that's bullshit. Tag on. Tag on. Oh my God, it was yeah, bad. I had never seen a trick that pissed off. Um, either, just, man, I mean, I was up here like a fucking watching a damn wrestling match, man. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> there is just certain buttons you do not push with me, and that pushed them all. Um, I, I, I wanted to say something, um, Trish, too. Go ahead. And, um, I'm here to defend women. Um, now, like I said, you if you, you become 30 years old or however the hell old you are and you decide you want to be a woman, that's your choice. You do what the fuck you want to. But I'm going to say something. I don't really where you can ever really consider yourself as a woman or a female for one of the two reasons. One, 
whether whether you get an operation or not as far as i know transgender people will never be able to have kids i think they can but i believe it's a very long drawn out and extremely expensive process really mm. so i'm just going to say like the average joe that would do it i would say no right probably not no but what i'm saying is another thing too, and i'm not saying i'm not saying that women are the kind of thing like i'm gonna say this and 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 if I mess this up, I don't. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to, and, and I totally respect, you know, everything. But as a, but as a man, I would think that women, even though they're proud to be women, most women are, right? Mm -hmm. If 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 they could go in their lives probably without having a period, you know, and that was something that they wouldn't, that they didn't have to have. I believe most of them would make that choice. I would think, right? Because it's a Agreed. painful yes. process. You know what I'm saying and all that stuff. But that is one of the things that sets you away from being, you know, a male. Mm -hmm. Something that a male cannot actually do. Okay? Right? And mm -hmm. I would honestly think that that would be something that a transgender would not be able to do. I would think. Don't know. I mean, I can, I just, I just can't see, I just, just can't see that how totally, and, and and I mean totally, totally, like unless you went in and like reconstructed the whole male, um, male body, how you could actually turn a man into a female. I just don't see it. Even with the technology. Know, unless, unless it has something to do with the hormones they take that might cause it. I don't know. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing this out here because this is just how unknowledgeable I am of this shit, okay? Right? Mm. But that is something sacred to a woman, right? Yep. I mean, that's what separates us from, I mean, there's a lot of other features that separate us, but what I'm saying that is one, that is two things definitely that a male cannot do is bear children and have a monthly period. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you go on out here and you're becoming a fucking woman or whatever, you're sitting there slapping in the fucking faces of fucking real women out here who were born that way, who were proud to be females that have to go through that shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I'm sitting here like, okay, you know, If anyone condones that and you're a woman, like if you if you like see that as like you support that, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seriously. I mean you gotta think of I and I gotta think about something too, right? Now When we're born, our bodies are made up the way we are because we're what genders we are. We're males. The males have male hormones and everything. Female have female hormones. They, all this other stuff, right? Okay. So my whole my whole thing is this. I would think that you know there's there's medications and stuff out here that a woman takes because they are a woman. Okay. And even if you do have your hormones and stuff changed, your body is still your fucking body. I mean, there. I mean, what I'm saying is, is if you're a man, okay, like that brute strength that you know most guys have over a woman, right? Mm -hmm. That's what. That's what makes you. That's the part of your genetics. You go to change that. I got a I got a feel that it would fuck with your body somehow or another. You know what I'm saying? I just I don't I just don't get that. 
And these people out here who just think like it's no big fucking deal. I mean, come on. I mean, it's, I don't know. This shit will make my damn mind explode. I, that's how, um, how stupid it is. <clears throat> Hayden, I don't know. And uh, Saxon, I'm guessing every guy everywhere would agree with you on that. And Elsa, that is a very good point. And I never thought of it that way. Oh my God. I don't see the point in having a sex change. Their souls are still that of a man. Also, when they die, when they get resurrected one day, their bodies will be that of a man again for eternity. So what's the point? Son of a... Uh, I've never actually thought of it like that. Yes, has always got the wisdom. Oh, yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. Son of a bitch, stop it. Sorry, my desktop just went, or my page just went nuts. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you may have been just kidding, but uh, I'm pretty sure that every guy everywhere would agree with that. One of the best parts of being a man, no period. Oh, you were talking to Elsa, never mind. It's, when they bring the kids into it, that's just, I can't handle that. It tears me all to pieces um, because you're screwing a kid up for the rest of their life. There is not enough therapy in the world to fix what they're doing to that kid. You know something I want to ask? I want to ask them fucking parents. Like, so say when that kid becomes, let's say, more, you know, more as a teen, it's up in his mid teens, it's late teens, maybe up in his 20s, and he realized, you know what? I don't, I'm a, I'm a guy and I'm fucking proud to be a guy. And that's what I was born and that's what I'm going to be. Are you going to love them even, or are you going to love them less? Because they decided to convert back to being a guy. Then what kind of what kind of person are you? Exactly. Oh, okay, Saxon, get some rest. I hope you feel better. With a heart loop? I don't know what that means, but okay. on your head so your body will be made perfect in the resurrection that sex change will be reversed huh kind of a monitor oh okay okay well just be careful and try not to overdo yourself okay just relax I mean, if you can relax with us stressing out over here and screaming and stuff, <laughs> give it your right. best shot. <laughs> you know, I know this may sound like I'm being an ass here, but I'm not trying to be. I think with all these people wanting to be a woman, all these men that want to be women, there should be some way that they have to take the bad with the good. Like they would have to have the period and mm -hmm. all that. 
No, I agree. They shouldn't just get the good stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Oh my god, it just flies all over me. You bring the kids into it, you're taking it to a whole new level, and there ain't no sense in that. Hell no, there ain't no sense in that. I'm <laughs> Hell, the company had to know how much backlash they're going to get from this. Well, you know they did. That's just free publicity. They don't give a shit. That just makes them even more money. True. Cause controversy sales. Hell, I ain't gonna buy none of that stuff. I'm just not hate my period. I don't want to be a man just to be rid of it. I agree with you there, Elsa. It's all right. I'm more of a man than most men I know anyway. <laughs> She went there. <laughs> That's right. I don't give a shit. Don't bother me none. Yeah, I don't say some kind of shit like that. I just make my peace and live with it. Yep. Pop you a couple of times and I'll go on with you day. If anybody crosses you, just cuss them the shit out. You know, just. Ooh. Don't mess with a woman when she's on her period, guys. <laughs> Y'all's old enough to know that. I don't have to tell you. Oh, yeah. I've not seen the one with the guys, but uh, if it's as upsetting as this one, I don't know if I want to see it. I'm liable to rip somebody else a new one. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll do it now without the cussing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just scream at him and go off. That works too. That is true, Trish. You have bigger balls than all the stand around mechanics. Am I right? Yes, Alvin, you are dead right. Well, hell, in this dream, if, um, they had one of them little cuss meters where, you know, every time you bail or say anything, bleep it out, that damn thing you just goes. <laughs> and yes, Elsa, there is a way to do that. It does exist. I generally choose not to take that route, but yes, it does exist. <laughs> now, like, we just have to bleep out this whole screen. Oh, yeah. About the first 15 minutes, dead on, it would be nothing but a big beep. I just could not stop myself. They'd have to put one of those damn um, warnings in front of this episode. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, I mean, the thumbnail says it all. I am irrationally pissed off over this. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That says it all right there. <laughs> <laughs> without cussing, Elsa. Damn. Oh, I, hey, too, man. I saw that. Make me have to kick I your probably, ass. I probably could have went off without cussing, but. Um, Do you want it? Do you want that? Do you use it? Yes, I do. 
Did you not see me sitting on it? I'm trying to. Stop stealing my stuff. No, I see how it is. Oh, I'm, I'm a bad influence. I really am. Because I say what I'm thinking. I may hold it back for a while. Um, because I don't like drama. But after a while, somebody will push the wrong button. And it just all comes out. Let's see how it is too. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I say. It's been a process, but it's been worth it. Oh, then I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just got your message. Hey, I want to get me a shirt, mate, with a big ass light switch on the front of it, with the words "Don't flip." Warning: Do not flip switch. Well, I probably took a few. Ba I probably took a few steps back on that rant, but I think I had to. Nice comment. I can't, Justin. I can't scroll up to it. Whatever it was, you're just gonna have to type it again. I think I'm gonna make that my general rule. If you say it and I miss it, type it again. I'm not backing up. Damn, it's only about that game he's playing. <sighs> but Alvin, that's the fun part. I'm such a bad influence. <laughs> Just cuss her out of hell and go on. You'll be all right. No, Elsa, I'm afraid they wouldn't. Oh, man. That would be worth a shot just to watch how stupid it made them. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, actually, Caden, I did think about making a podcast out of it, but uh, I just <laughs> I decided to go this route instead. Because that's definitely one that would have and may still end up on my No Time For Your Shit podcast. Yeah, you could just take the audio from this and then put it in there. Yeah. For public service announcement. That's right. And then I can do a cut and put in me saying, uh, well, Bill, do you, what do you have uh, to say about this? What are your thoughts on this situation? And then just edit you in saying what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. In this game I found called Judge 3D. I guess you can call me Justin the Judge because I've won so many cases. And put people in jail. Nice. Keep the peace with my dream. <laughs> and you're wanting me to keep the angry tension in the air. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> That's true. It is what it is.
Added all the good added parts the together. Good I tried, together. Elsa. Question. Something yeah. different. We're not even on right now. So I'm changing the subject just for a minute. Have yeah. we seen this? That doesn't look familiar. It was by Stephen King. It was a TV series. No. That was good. It was uh. It was two. I think it was two seasons. <laughs> hey, <we're back. laughs> Sorry, Caden. Now, what was the name of that? Kingdom Hospital. Kingdom Hospital. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Yeah, I got it here a little while back, but it, it is hard to find, but can ever find it pick it up somewhere it is definitely worth definitely worth the money yeah okay. it's about it's about this like the song i'm sorry hang on one <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I about blew my fucking gasket there for a minute. Sorry. Oh, I, I, I'm really trying to, like, not be that way, but, man, I'm telling you, people, stupid people, man, just make me want to do stupid stuff or say stupid stuff that I shouldn't. They set your bullshit meter off, huh? Damn right. I would. I mean, I wish. I wish they was fucking like somebody that actually could damn invent a damn meter that that reads fucking stupidity. I'd wear that some bitch. When that something start going off, I'd go the other way. Hmm. Even if I had to take the long way around. You happy about it, Rabbit? Oh, I know, right? Ding, ding, ding. This one has no brain. Oh, and it did rain here. Oh. I mean, 
when we got off the phone a while ago, guys, it wasn't five minutes. I swear to God, it just flat out poured. And now it's sunny. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Trish, though. I'm, I'm gonna say this like, you have really changed your streaming from the first time I really, when I first started joining your streams to like now and stuff. Because, yeah. but, but I mean, like, in what I'm saying is like a good way, though, is what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I could, like, you know, back a few years ago, I never would have thought you'd let out something like you just did today, man. I'm like, what the? <laughs> I was, I was standing there laying. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't get that upset very often at all. But damn, when I do, it's just no holding back. It's coming out. It, it, I'm either letting that shit out or I'm having a heart attack and killing over somewhere. Yeah. One of the two things is going to happen. Is this a stream for tonight or what's going to happen at eight? This is the stream. Oh, that's a good point. Um, hang on. Guys, wait a minute. I think my son wants to run up to his house. Are you ready? I'm guessing he wants to go now. So do you want me to end the stream and start a new one at 8, or do you want me to just leave you guys in charge? Because I'm going to be gone for at least half an hour. I don't know. Uh, if I... <sighs> I was gonna say if you end the stream, I, this one might be it for me tonight or whatever, because I might just kind of go and relax and or whatever. I was gonna say this. We don't have two streams today, so this could be considered the stream for tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'll look at it. Elsa said, "Leave us in charge." I say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I will leave you guys in charge. How's that? How about that? Oh, all right. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, try your best not to behave while I'm gone, please. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, and I'll even be nice and mute my mic so you won't have any background noise from over here. Oh. Okay. Well, you can't hear me if I go. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Leave us in charge. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I know, right? Oh my god. Um, Hoping nobody's internet goes out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That'd be bad if our internet went out. With... Or if one of ours went out, because we won't be able to get back in. That's exactly. Well. And let, let's just say that if my internet was to go out, that'd be it for me tonight anyway. So I wouldn't even try to come back. No, you ain't leaving me by myself. Oh, shit. Yes, I am, too. You can have your That's boy. bullshit. You big boy. You big boy. No, because then, then I don't know what to talk about. Aw, oh, you can do it. Look at all them streams you've had without me. But I've always had somebody with me. Oh, you can do it, Robert. I believe in you, man. <laughs> All you got to do is believe. She's back already. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of them teleport things. Yep.
Don't act like an old man. Down here. <laughs> no, I was just saying that, like, if something was happening to my internet and I was to have to leave the stream, there ain't no way I could come back. Then that would be it for me tonight. Is what I'm saying. Same for me, cause I won't be able to get back in. No, oh, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Well, her stream would just be sitting here looking at the kitchen going. But you know, this would be a good way to find out whether her um whether her apartment's haunted or not. Yep. It seems like shadows and shit going by and stuff like that. Stuff falling off the walls and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Oh, I thought maybe you wanted to go to sleep at this hour. No, I was just saying, like, I was just going to go relax. If, if she was going to end the stream, that was okay with me. I'm going to miss not having our video chat tomorrow, bro. I'm sorry. But I know you got to get back to work. Yep. I'm going to try to get up with uh, Gene maybe Monday or something and see if him and, um, him and Jamie's available Friday or something. Um, you can do that Jacob's Well interview, and I'm going to schedule that um, for then. It'd be cool if they could join us in one of the streams. <laughs> This is interesting. Liza sent a photo. I can't see it. It just says sent a photo. That's something to do with the red Let's see. Nope, still think. Well, no, there we go. If it would open. Happy about it, frozen girl. Friday, November nineteen seventy. Good Lord. What Williamson, else? Virginia. You know that rodeo I wanted to go to. I uh, wanted to go to this this weekend. That's tomorrow night and Saturday night. Damn. It's all right. Can't do everything you want to do all the time. That wouldn't be life. So we've got next week, we've got the Air Church Carolina album review. Wow, what's wrong, Roger? Nothing. I just didn't think it was coming up that soon. Yep. I mean, if something comes up, man, and you have to push it back, I understand it, man. There's no... I'm dreading it, it's all. You're dreading it? Why? I don't know. My mind just goes blank when I do them things. Oh, you all right, man. I'd rather just get my rating and move on to the next song. Yeah, but you're doing it with me, man. You should you shouldn't dread it. I don't dread doing it. It's just the, when my mind goes blank. I'd rather just you you give the rundown of the song and then we give a rating of it. If that makes any sense. I I get it to a certain extent. But. I 
Because when I get put on the spot like that, I've always been this way. When I get put on the spot like that, I just freeze up and can't think of nothing. Well, I'm not doing it to try to put you on the spot or nothing. I know. You're my bro, and I just figured, you know, hey, you know. It'd be cool. I mean, I want to do them. Yeah. Because we're both fans, but. Just don't. Just don't. Robert, let me give you a little bit of advice, buddy. Okay? I'm going to tell you something. And you will not believe this to save your life, okay? Around about, see, when did I start joining Trisha's stream? So it had to have been, what, about 2017, something like that? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I was so camera shy that I didn't even want to do, I didn't even want to do uh, projects for college, dude. Right? Then I got sitting back telling myself one day, I said, you know something? I said, I come to school for radio and TV broadcasting. I can't be scared to be in front of a camera. It's it's, it's not going to work. So what I started doing, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, though, and, and you, may, you may think this is weird, but me being on the radio helped me get my confidence more for being in front of a camera. Because... Me sitting there, um, being on the radio, although people couldn't see me, it was almost like you know how you, you know how you sometimes you'll see like big music videos or or shows sometimes, and you'll see somebody yeah. on TV and you'll see the whole audience black, but then at the end of it you you'll see it move away and there was actually people sitting there the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the way I looked at it when I was on the radio. And I said, if I could think about that when I'm on camera, I'll be fine. So eventually it got to the point where I was like, I didn't give a fuck what people thought. You know, I was like, oh shit. This is easier than I fucking thought it was. Then I'm like you, like I wasn't the kind of person that wanted to be like in the forefront of anything. And you know how I am. Now most of the time I want to be the first one in the damn stream. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. It's just, it's, it's one of those things, man, that you got, when you get put, it, it's like anything else, man. When you get put in, in that that situation, you just run with it, man. It's like, ain't no, look, I'm going to tell you something. It's us. Ain't nobody going to judge you, dude. If, 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 you, if you say, look here, man, I had a totally thing I want to say about this. My mind can't, um, my mind went blank and I said, hey, it's just a great song. I love it. And I love Eric Church and he can't do no wrong. I'm, I'm cool with that, bro. We're going to the next song. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, it's no big deal to me, dude. I mean, you know, I'm almost the exact same way, Robert. My mind goes blank and only afterwards I remember what I wanted to say or could have said. Oh, that's right. That's, I get a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. Better not waste my name, Alvin. I'll kick your butt. I better not write my name. I'm <laughs> laughing my ass off. Else, a damn the devil. I've been thinking about getting into rodeo, y'all. Any advice for me? I'm thinking of taking steroids. Dude, let me tell you something, man. Hey, more power to you, but just make sure that's what you want to do, man. Just. Your ass ain't, ain't no mama's boy picnic either. You can get messed up just as much riding steer ass as you can bull riding or any other event. I mean, I like back seat rodeo. No entry fee in longer than an eight second ride. Did you hear that, Robert? Yeah. <laughs> I got to get my tab. I got a legal pass. That'll help. It'll probably help better than this stupid-ass tablet. I'm 
I'm trying to send somebody a message and the damn messenger closed on me. And I ain't leaving this page because I know it'll end the in my stream and I won't be able to get back in. Yep. Think about this, guys. Look at all these years later, right? And um And we're and we're bitching and complaining about tablets, but Moses had the first messages on tablets ever. Yep, that is Correct. true. Uh, and he didn't even have a style. Also, if I could share it with you, I'd show you what steer wrestling is. But there's no way to show you because I can't share. See, stream yeah, to noise, you used to, because used to you could share yourself, but they must have made a feature to where only um person who's running the stream could share your content. I know on restream you can share it yourself, but that don't help us. Nope. Instead of being else, when you're running around, when Cowboy's running beside the uh, steer on a horse and he jumps off and grabs his head and wraps him to the ground, they're steer wrestling, or some people call it bulldogging. Two different terms. Black Cowboy invented bulldog named William Pickett. But you didn't know that, did you? Nope. Well, there you go. A bit of information for you. Now my damn keyboard don't want to open. Oh, shit. Keyboard, baby. There we go. So did you watch my podcast, Robert? Not yet. I'm going to after the stream. Oh, thank you, Elsa. Damn it. I appreciate that. How sweet of you. Damn still, Elsa. I have a gift. I just want to do cowboys. Hell, you can do roping and all kind of other shit. You can do. Shut up, Roberta. LOL. That's what she said. Now, that's not very Christian like there, Elsa. Wow. I know you didn't go there. It's not very Christian to tell somebody to shut up. Why, wow, Bill, check your messages. I don't know if it's just me that I would, but. Much better, Alpha.
I'm pointing the message to go through. All these damn notifications, I need to clear out. Not very Christian to talk nonsense like that. A push up then. What? Oh. Bam! Oh, black bear! When do I ever speak nonsense? Bam, bam! Just tell me that. When do I ever speak nonsense? Uh, you don't count. Uh, <laughs> you know what? How the mean? hell is my message sending? Damn it! I don't know. Hell, it shows you online, so the damn thing should have sent by now. What you mean? What message you talking about? I got I sent it. you a message just now. I responded back. Well, damn, if my damn tablet ain't being a slow-ass bastard. Oh, hell, I got, hell, I got your damn message. I just... Oh, damn, I'm going to have to get you trying to over here blame me and your damn tablet don't even work right. Hell, it ain't work right since the second I took it out of the box. I say that's a better option option for you, um, Justin. At least, I mean, either way, you're still going to have to have a horse. Unless you decide to do something like bareback riding, saddle bronco bull riding. Then you then you don't have to have a horse. That's <laughs> what next. What is this, Dragon Ball Z now, Alvin? Who will win? You decide. Fight! I'm gonna have to restart this piece of shit. Oh my god. Elsa said, Where do I begin, man? She must be typing a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, and that's supposed to scare me out. Find out next time. That little, that little emoji is supposed to scare me. I don't know what I actually when I plan after when I got done doing the um Eric Church album reviews there Justin I had um thought about going in and doing the Crystal Dew album reviews. That'll be fun. Damn, that's all busted up. He's gonna win. That's all. Bam! <laughs> yeah, you're right, because I don't hit women. Better watch out. That hurricane might turn around. You know, that they have, they have been known to do that. And I've seen it right in South Carolina. I've seen it right in the old Bill's house. Send it to mine. I said, straight, straight up to uh, 
right up there fighting. No. I keep a noggin, but you can't come in. Oh, oh, she got jokes now. No, I don't either. Wow. Damn. I just realized what she said. After what you said, I was like, oh, shit. I'm more man than you'll ever know, damn it. Who? Who you talking to? Elsa. Oh. Guess it don't want me to get this message. Most not. Hell, I'm going to go to the website and see if it shows up. I'm not. I mean, I'm in the mood, I guess. I guess so. Um. Robert, why don't you, um. See if, like, man, they usually have, um. On Black Friday, man, like, I got, like, I got an RCA tablet with, like, the detachable keyboard and all that stuff. Last. Was it last Christmas? I think it was Christmas before last. For about, I don't know, it's, that same thing had to be less than a hundred bucks, man. For Christmas, for Black Friday, dude. And it's a pretty nice tablet. I haven't had no problems with it. I just don't use it a lot. I only use it like when I go on trips and stuff. Oh, sexy move right out some bow chicka wow wow just kidding now. She's gonna kick my ass now. That's right. Bow chicka mow mow. I'm a cool heartbreaker, a fifth to burn, so I rip your heart in two, and I'll leave you, you lying on the bed, cause I'll be out the uh-huh. door, oh, you wait, ain't nothing in me today, don't you think I've seen that a movie too, cause you could be lying on me, but you're waiting me out of life. Cause when the bitch slaps rapping in your cocaine zone, you get nothing. My ears. Uh, definitely not a sexy mood, just in the mood for a good life. Come on, wow. You know, I had some extra bottles, I was saying, like, giving away. But, you know. I have a, you know what, I have an unopened Guns and Roses and Use Your Illusion too. Are you raising your hand for something? Yeah, I'm volunteering. Oh, yeah? Well, hell, at least give it to somebody that will enjoy it. I know, right? Um, i tell you how that came about, dude. I ordered one, right? And apparently the fucker got lost in the mail. I tried, I bet I tried that thing for like three weeks. Dang. Or no, actually, I tried it for about three days after it was supposed to have been here. And I called Amazon and said, look, man, you know, this package was supposed to be here the other day. It keeps saying that it's, you know, whatever. They said, well, it must have got lost in transit, Um, you know. You want a refund money or, or you want a replacement? And I said, well, I'd rather have a replacement. So so they, sent, so they sent me a replacement. About a week or two later, I got the other one. Nice. So I just kept it. Damn, do you know anything? 
Oh, Hello. just got your message. Yes, I did, Elsa. Well, damn, Elsa, what a buzz kill, man. <laughs> Just a buzz kill. Yep. The kill of the buzz. Just a buzz kill giggity. Like Luke Bryan sang that one time before he went off pop. You just a buzz kill. Yeah, that uh song he did for the what was it that beach album he made or some shit? I believe it was Spring Break Five. Yeah. Yeah, he went all yeah, when he went all pop, I was like, I'm done with this guy. Yep. And you and me you both. Know, you remember that you remember that uh you remember that movie My Cousin Vinny? Yeah. You now when he finally started getting that, getting it on the uh, getting the role and everything, and he was like, "Huh, I'm done with this guy." That's the same way with all the Jeffrey Curry pop. I'm like, "Done with this guy." He admitted, he admitted it, Bill. He didn't like your singing. What you gonna do about it? Just kidding. I don't care. They don't like my singing. Hell, I know I can't sing. You told me nothing. I don't already know. My bloody ears. Well, you know, sometimes I'm going to say that about my face, my eyes, my eyes. Yeah, you must be looking in the mirror. <laughs> when you come on screen, I'm like, my eyes, my eyes. Bullshit. You know you like this. Yeah. It's about like that. Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer, man. I have, you know, a lot of people like this, okay? I'm glad, I'm glad some people do. Who's talking? I'll give you Robert bragging rights to sing because we've never heard him sing before. I don't want Trisha's stream to get taken down by YouTube. They were like, good about? lord, shut the stream down. Yeah. Hell, if I started singing, they would. They were like, get this fool off of here. God, I'd have to go get the earmuffs. Who the garden homes in your backyard? I don't have garden on, thank you very much. Oh my damn. <laughs> oh, who had a garden on? Awesome. I actually knew a girl. <laughs> I, I actually knew a girl who was afraid of them fucking things. She was terrified of gnomes. Maybe she thinks they come to life. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God, wow, I'll be on detail. No, it's this girl, um, when I was dating my second ex. One of her friends was just fucking girl that she was friends with was just fucking terrified of knowing. Her, she didn't say why she was terrified of them. She just didn't like gnomes. I didn't really give a shit. And they don't bother well, me. She just considered. 
They consider it Billy Goat. Say there. I said, won't ain't you just consider it? The considerate Billy Goat. Mm, I know. If anybody can sing good around here, it's me. Well, just to <laughs> see. <laughs> well, I don't know. I ain't heard him sing. Almost as considerate as you. I know no. I'm very considerate, damn it. Elsa is afraid of, of gnomes, too. I'm telling you what, I was pushing it today, boy. Yeah, it's usually me, but today it's I open. Consider it Billy Goat. Don't worry, don't say stuff like that, Alvin. You might offend uh, Robert. I don't even know what the hell he talking about. <laughs> Watch out, Bill. I might have a thing for you. He keeps calling you sexy. I'm just saying. Nope, Alvin. Robert, I am challenging you and I to do a karaoke duet. Let's do your trade. So far, I only can put out. If you... uh -huh, sorry. I'm kidding. All right. I only have one in shower voices. In the right well be. What's that? I said I only have one of them shower voices. I guess, hell, I don't. You would know all about that. Oh, he says six shower boys, Roberto. Yeah, you know how some people think they can sing once they're in the shower. Hell, I can't sing while I'm in the shower. I the fucking shower. <laughs> Well, I was being nice about it, damn. Oh, hell, I'm just being honest about it. Hell, oh, I know yeah. I can't sing, so. Oh, hell, I told you I don't sugarcoat shit. I ain't, I'm even talking about myself here. Hell, I know I can't sing. Hell, I ain't like damn Sylvester Stallone or Rhinestone. I start singing, damn animals start running away. <laughs> damn. No, I'm good. I'm definitely good on that one, Elsa. Hell, you pay me to shut the hell up. No, I just put in real thick earplugs. <laughs> Aren't you glad we ain't soft and don't get offended? I know, right? Makes it much more fun. I know. People are bitches, man. I ain't stand that. And the devil demon do. 
thing with the old demon dude. I didn't even know this damn show was still on the air. Devil Damon Demon dude. I don't know, but that girl kind of said, damn, she got some long ass legs. What show are you talking about? Impact Wrestling. Oh, yeah. That, that fucking show ain't been good since about 2010. Actually, actually, to me, Impact Wrestling ain't been good since beer money broke up. <laughs> I used to watch it when it was only on pay per view. Yeah. We used to get, we used to have, well, you could get all the free pay per view. Nice. <laughs> That's true, Alvin. In the shallow. Knock it over, why don't you? Hmm? Sound like you're knocking over something. No, I'm looking. Like he kind of like Jesse's brother. I'm going to disappoint oh. Trish when she comes back. I'm going to tell her we were good little boys. Watch this one. Oh, it was definitely sexy, Elsa. What's well that? Her singing in the shower. No. She's all, as Trish would say, she's all wet. And making wet. Yep. <sighs> Hello. Cool. Oh, I love that color. Oh, hell no. What? Hey. What else to say? Oh. Guess you didn't like anything naked. Or, uh, I mean, wet. Well, technically, you're in the shower, you're naked and wet. Yeah. Well, you want to be or not. <laughs> Well, it doesn't mean sexy, it just means wet. Come on, Elsa. Quit spoiling the fun. Oh, no.
you know what? I'm thinking about ah, you know what? I just not thought about this. Now we were talking about taking a day trip to Charleston. Right? We're still talking about taking that day trip. I would love to see if we could do it to where I, I don't it'd probably be more than a day trip because I would want to go to Richmond, Virginia back to the Poe Museum and then to Baltimore, Maryland to visit the, the grave of Poe. So it would probably wind up being more than like a day trip. I'm spoiling nothing. I'm stating facts. Well, well Bill, I'm going to have to leave you by yourself. Why is that? Cause I got to go somewhere. You got to go somewhere. I'm going to leave the phone on so we ain't going to be going long. We're just running literally right up the street. All right. I see how you want to be. Go do what you got to do, man. You know that. I don't give a shit. I'm just messing with you. But if my phone disconnects, just know I ain't here, so I didn't do it. Gotcha. So you're going to leave your camera on with the Dixie in the background? Huh? you leaving your camera on? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, brother. I ain't scared of being restrained by myself. I've done it before. Ain't no scared. You don't. We don't get scared, Bob. We don't get scared. See? I can turn out the lights. Still be a big boy. See that? Oh, shit. And what a buzz kill, man. Hmm. This is your next day off, Bill. It is Monday. Ghostly wild Billy Goat. Yeah, I am. Three days in a row, yep. Three days in a row. Yeah, baby. So guys, well since we you know, I know it's not even anywhere near like Halloween or nothing like that, but so I was oh my god, how was I? I don't know, I'd have to say like my mid-teens or some shit. And I have to be quick on Sunday if you want to catch the season finale of Chosen at 8. It sure the hell is at 8, ain't it? Them, you know what, that's pissing me off now. They see him been starting that thing at 9 o'clock for the last two weeks. And now they want to start it at 8. They ain't going to give me time to eat when I get home. That ain't right. 
Well, technically, the episode probably won't start at 8. I might miss a little bit of the stuff kind of before it, but if that's okay, I don't need to hear Dallas or, or whoever them people are talk. But um, anyway, so I was, I had to been like, I don't know, maybe like 15 or something. I might have been older than that or even younger than that. So I went to this haunted house with some buddies of mine. And this haunted house kind of had this guarantee that they pretty much I had a guarantee that if they couldn't scare you, you get your money back, right? That's right. Hashtag shut up Dallas. Um, or shut Dallas up, yeah. Um, so anyway, so I get to so I get to going through this damn uh haunted house, you know, and I'm walking through here and you know, I'm, and, I, and I gotta admit now, some of the stuff they had in there was was innovative for its time, man. It was it was daggone like you know I gotta give them to them, man. It was like something you'd see like in a, about like a Hollywood production if you were in like a movie set. I walked through that damn thing. I walked out the other end. And I'm standing there and I'm talking to the person outside the door there. I looked at me and like, you ain't scared? I said, no. They say, what's wrong with you? I say, ain't nothing wrong with me. I said, the problem is y'all got this haunted house thing and y'all scare people. I said, is it true that I get my money back if I'm not scared? He said, that's what the flyer says. I mean, I haven't given anybody their money back yet. I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, I know this haunted house is like for more of a, like a charity thing. I said, I'm not worried about the money. Well, I'm going to tell you what, y'all are going to do a whole hell of a lot better if you're going to scare me. But uh, I don't even know who you're talking about. But anyway, because I don't watch Glee anyway. But um, anyway, so, so that was that. And then I went to another haunted house. You know, and they didn't have that guarantee. They just they just thought they um they just said we just guarantee to scare the shit out of you. It's all right. I go out there and uh so you go through this, you go through this house, man, and all this stuff. But this one had like a house and then kind of almost like a greenhouse kind of area behind it and all that stuff. And man, this dude jumped out this damn bush thing, man, with a damn weed eater. I looked at him. I said, What in the hell you think you're gonna do with somebody with that damn thing? I said, that feather lot piece of crap. I said, man, I said, get the hell on out of here with that stupid piece of shit. I said, by the way, I said, I think that damn blade's too heavy for that damn thing anyway. He said, man, get the hell out of here. I was like, man, you fucking stupid trying to scare me with a damn feather light ass weed either like you. Like you gonna do some shit? Are you fucking stupid? Oh, I thought you went from the kids climbing all over. I swear to God, every time he comes down through there, all I can think is, damn, he walks like an uncle. Uh -huh. I don't say that to him. <laughs> so I'm sick. Oh my god, he needs to start wearing a condom. Cause damn, she's done got four and one on the way. I mean, he might be Catholic, I don't know. You don't believe in protection.
trying to save her son. Bub, never mind, I found him. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up? Well, thank you. Um, hell, I don't know now. <laughs> I was talking about the guy upstairs. Um, well, damn, who got married? Oh, yeah. Did you kill Robert while I was gone? Yeah, I posed the body too. I knew it. I was afraid that was going to happen. Thank you, Justin. You could hang. Oh, you're pulling. You're doing that clicking noise. That's right, you tell him, Elson. Oh, hell no, you didn't. Son, unplug the mic, woman. You don't need it. Why don't I need it? Because didn't you not have it plugged up earlier and it and it was working? Now one stream before or something. I can't hear you now. Of course, your, your mic is muted, though. So. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. I can hear you clearly now. The rain is gone. Nice. And some sunny day. All that is a say, say, what else shall I pay a world more about him? Oh, Ooh. 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 Oh, sorry that took so long. Didn't think it was going to take that long. That's all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> so did you have fun while I was gone? Oh, we were good little boys. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I was running around naked and all that stuff. So you missed. Oh, well, son of a bitch. Why you wait for I live till you do that? Then, that, then next time you'll know not to leave. Oh, well, damn. So bad up. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> hey, Savannah, what's up? Oh, look, it's eight. Trisha's streaming. Yeah. Oh, 
We should go watch her. She's awesome. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, where did Robert go? He said he had to run somewhere right quick, but he was going to leave his, um, but he said he was going to leave his phone and stuff there. So, uh, <laughs> he was naked. I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> should be on her way to you, I do. Oh, maybe that's it, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Just a the cow following me. And he chickened out. Oh, okay. God. Stop that woman. Sorry. I can see clearly that the rain is gone. I swear to God, I'm going to throw these glasses. Oh, my God. I, got, I have a weird... I just have a weird question. And, um, like, if someone was to, like, read a poem out loud on here or something and say it was... Say, by somebody like Edgar Allan Poe or something. I wonder if you'd get a copyright strike for that. Huh. I don't know. That's a good question. First of all, who the hell's going down? I mean, not like you had any family. True. Very not true. Like, not like you would like, it's not like you would be taking money from his estate. No. Actually, when he died, he didn't have much of nothing, no way. And just about everything he's got or he had wound up in that Poe Museum, so. True. Well, damn, who does get money if anything like that sells? All right. You know, I, I I always love always love Elsa's response, and she just she's so good at it, like, cause you know, I was like, now nah, you've gone and done it, El and her his feelings, poor guy's feelings, Elsa, and she's just like, that'll be alright, Al. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What's wrong,
What did you go do up at Rabbit's? Bury a body? <laughs> Shh, don't supposed to tell, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry, my bad. <laughs> This is not good. Guys, my headache's trying to come back. Oh, Trish, oh. I meant to ask you. Yeah. Remember when we um you remember when we watched that uh that live stream with um John Snyder? Mm-hmm. Didn't he say that Christmas movie with him and Reba would be out this year? Yep. I wonder when it's going. I wonder if it's gonna be out before I wonder if it's gonna be out before like Christmas, Christmas, because I know like some, because I know like some stations do like you know that Christmas and July stuff, and which mm -hmm. I already know it's July, but like I don't, and like some of them like play Christmas movies from like now to the end of the year. I just wonder the hell if it's gonna be out before you know. I don't know when the hell it's gonna be out. Like. <laughs> Not that Elsa, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he said late this year, around the holiday season. That's what I was thinking he said too. But I just yeah. I wasn't sure. My mind's been daggone. He's supposed to have that other movie he's working on out by the end of the year, too. Mm -hmm. That sequel to stand on it. No, it's not. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it actually took me a second to get that, Elsa. <laughs> the sequel to stand on it, right in it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That was so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a good one else. I even I didn't catch that one, so Yeah, Savannah, that's not good. Um You know, I'm no expert or nothing, but if you ever want to talk about something, I'm always here.
Actually, the sequel to it um, else is called Poker Run. I know, right? It's taking this sweet ass time getting back, and well, damn, when did he leave? Ah, uh, hell, he's probably been gone by ten minutes now. Or huh. Maybe a little bit more. Well, hell, that's going longer now. Never any attention to his two boys. He's just on his phone the whole time. I'm really worried about him. Oh, Elsa, that's not good. Or Roberta, I should say. Hugs and Lana, yep. Guys, I think I'm going to get out of here. I think I'm going to get the last little few things here. Done before I lay down and go to bed. So get ready to go to work tomorrow. And okay. I got that three-day stretch, and then I'm off Monday. Nice. Yep. Yeah. But, uh. So yeah, I just basically want to just tell everybody to have a good night. And, you know, uh, I don't talk to y'all tomorrow. I'll talk to you one, one day this week. Um, and just to let anybody, anybody that wants to know, um, the season finale, episode eight, season finale of season two of The Chosen will be on YouTube uh, Sunday night at eight o'clock. So if you want to see it. That's where it would be. Um, okay. So, uh, that's about it, I guess. So, y'all have a good night, and um, I'll talk to y'all later. All right. I well, that's how I went. Tell me none of your business. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I just tell my, I, I go. All righty. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, the next year, or whenever you're available. All righty then. All right. All right. Have a good night. All right. You too. Oh, no. He just, he left the stream. Uh, it's still me and Robert. Well, Robert went somewhere, but he'll be back. You want to get your hand? Yes. I already got it out of the bag. It's over here. Oh, that's right, you heard me. No. Yes. No. Not even a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Dude! I didn't know I said like that. Yes, you did. Oh, you think my voice? No. It's on top of that big bowl of soup over there. <laughs> <laughs>
And now you sound like a chipmunk. Oh, God. Yeah, mama. And why would I sound like a chipmunk? Is there something wrong with my microphone? Oh, okay. And that just froze. Good. I'm leaving you. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get pissed off now. No, it just froze on me. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up before I lose my temper um, because I'm starting to have issues. <laughs> you can still see and hear you. Okay. No, I'm just, uh, my headache is trying to come back. And it's starting to really get to me. Uh, but guys, thank you for joining in again uh, for the second time today. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry. It's just a stay horny, my friends. And I am tripping out. <laughs>